Yes guys, we are of course back with another video. Now before we get into the topic of today's today's video, uh, there's just one thing I want to talk about real quick. I know I talk to you guys a lot, but it's in my best interest to keep you guys informed on everything going on. So, last Friday, I believe it was, I uploaded the Drill Dog video. Now, as usual, you guys supported the video, commented, liked, and I really appreciate that. Uh, now, a few of you were quite worried um, about mental health. Now, I'm just going to address that real quick. I'm fine. <laughs> Completely fine. Um, the fact of the matter is, the last two weeks were pretty hard. Just not, not because of anything serious, but I was at work for 10 hours a day. I did 100 hours in two weeks. I know it probably doesn't sound a lot to some of you guys, uh, but for me it was quite a big a big step. Um, I've not really done them kinds of shifts in a long time, and it really took its toll on me last Friday, so I basically came into the video extremely tired, uh, worn out, and I probably shouldn't have made the video on that day. I probably should have just left it for another day. Um, but all in all, everything's great, honestly. <laughs> and it's 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 such a nice thing that you guys were worried about it and supported supported me basically, and that's amazing. So <laughs> to you guys that were worried, thank you. It's it's amazing to know that there's people who watch this channel who genuinely care. And it's, it's wonderful. Anyway, enough of that. Today we're talking, well, we're basically starting spooky season, I suppose. Maybe two days early, but that doesn't matter too much, does it? Spooky season all year round, isn't it? So we're talking about liminal spaces today. And why, I'm, I'm not going to say attracted to, just why I like liminal spaces so much. I think it's just a really interesting topic to start off with. And it's something that I've... I'm quite fond of. So, what is a liminal space? A liminal space is basically an area or part of an area that looks completely devoid of life. I think that's the word. Void, devoid, fuck knows. It's basically a place or an area that lacks people, it lacks animals. It even if you're in that if you're in a liminal space in person, it could even lack sound it could be completely silent now a liminal space can mean different things for different people for me a liminal space is sort of it gives me this feeling of sadness nostalgia loneliness abandonment it's also just a sense of being in a particular place where a lot of people are meant to be for example a mall or maybe even a classroom or even just a shop in general but a liminal space doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere that's abandoned and completely void of life a liminal space can be captured in just a picture or even a short video take this picture that I took for example this picture was actually taken at Blackpool Zoo in a huge shopping area now there was a little doorway leading somewhere and I looked through it and it looked a little bit strange, like completely dead. So I took a picture, I took this picture and behind me there was hundreds upon hundreds of people. However, with the right sort of filter or the right sort of background music track, I'm going to give a quick shout out to a YouTuber named Flo who's made about seven or eight videos about strange places with unnerving music. I highly recommend you go check them out. It gives this really weird feeling of nostalgia and sadness and loneliness. And it's pretty good. It's really good what he's done. So if I was to add a background track to this little picture here, it would look like, it would just give it a sense of loneliness and abandonment, basically.
Now, liminal spaces don't necessarily have to be in real life either. For example, this Reddit user called Rare Jaguar, he actually took a picture of a liminal space or a screenshot of a liminal space in Minecraft. And even then, you still get those same feelings you get from looking at like an empty house or something like that. Now, I think that my love of liminal spaces sort of kicked off in about early 2015, February 2015 if I'm not wrong, February 2016 maybe, I think it's February 2016 actually, <laughs> I'm lying to you, when I actually visited an abandoned asylum and I can put some of those pictures up, these pictures are right here, I'll put them up now, and when I visited that place there was a massive sense of just i don't even know how to describe it you know all those feelings i said before it was like them all mashed together into one and it was something completely different to what i'd ever felt before and you sort of feel the same way looking at liminal spaces or stuff like that and then in around 2019 late 2019 i actually discovered I didn't discover it myself, but I found out about the back rooms and I noticed that this is how I got into the liminal spaces after visiting this mental asylum. I was looking through back rooms pictures and then somebody mentioned, oh yeah, they're called liminal spaces. So I went on to Google, looked up liminal spaces and I was just blown away by the amount of pictures there were. And I even joined the Reddit, the subreddit for liminal spaces, and it's so interesting. There are tons of tons of pictures on there that go up every single day. It's fantastic. So yeah, that's basically the reason as to why I love liminal spaces. Now I realise this episode is not exactly scary, but it can be creepy to know that you're in some place, possibly, where nobody's around it's completely silent and it's just completely void of devoid of life just think about that just think picture yourself just in a room by yourself nobody there and it's completely silent so yeah i'm gonna leave you guys with that just to have a little bit of a think about that and if you've never really looked into liminal spaces or anything like that i'd highly recommend it i'd highly recommend it it's a whole new world but don't get too involved in the back rooms because that's just a creepy pasta that's that's just bollocks so yeah that's all i've got to say about that thanks for watching guys like subscribe maybe click that little bell next to the subscribe button you'd be doing me a huge favor and i will see you in the next video.